I've impressed myself. I did not think I was gonna make it this far. It can't be an Adriana budget video without rice and beans. I already know. That's the first thing I'm gonna start spending money on again. That is how much over budget I went. <laughs> Making coffee at home has been the number one way to easily cut spending this month. Hello friends, Adriana here. Welcome or welcome back to the vlog. And we are in episode five of a budget month. We've gone four weeks so far of the goal of staying within a $500 budget for the month of October. And we are doing well. Like I still have $36 left in the budget and we have three days left. Today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So come along. I hope you've been watching the whole series. If you haven't, go back and take a peek, see where I've kind of had some, some opportunities that I wish I hadn't spent the money or scenarios where the money just kind of like had to be spent. I don't know. I feel like I've been doing pretty well. I didn't like set out a budget of like, this is how much I'm gonna spend on food. This is how much I'm gonna spend on transportation. I've just been like, trying to be as frugal as possible. I think we're gonna make it to the end. So stick around to see how we do these last couple days. Probably gonna do a bit of a breakdown at the end um, and kind of throughout in these last couple days saying like where I've really been able to make a difference in my spending as in not getting any coffee out. Not that I normally get a lot of coffee out, but this month I literally have not purchased a single coffee outside of my home. So, hello, and let's get on to the day. Walking our way to the studio, starting the day with a free workout at Orange Theory, because I'm a coach there. And we're just walking because I didn't feel like pedaling. I've been taking a lot of classic city bikes since I have the annual membership. It doesn't cost me anymore. So I've been doing those for it to be like free. Just didn't feel like pedaling today. So we're using the leggies. complete feeling good it's nice for the longest time I haven't been able to work out outside of class hours but I uh, made a bit of a stink not just not a stink but I was talking to people and was trying to find a solution and we found a solution of being able to work out with other employees so we got our workout in and now I'm just gonna rinse off I'll shower later I'm gonna rinse off and get in my coach clothes but so far zero dollars spent for the day Honestly, I think today, today might be a zero spend day, which would mean tomorrow and Thursday we can ball out with our $36. <laughs> Lunch time. We're having the last of this pasta and then a piece of salmon. Cause I was like, that sounds good. I'm doing some editing. I'm just having a productive afternoon. No, pasta down. We have a jumper. I have to say one of the good things about this challenge is that it's really forcing me to use the food that's in my freezer and kind of clear it out. <laughs> it also helps that my sister uh, very kindly donated some of her food to me as she was moving out of her apartment. But yeah, I feel like I'm like looking through and like really trying to use stuff that I have instead of just like buying things, which has been great. I definitely haven't been eating as many fresh vegetables. But that's okay. For one month of my life to eat mostly like frozen veggies, I think I'll survive. Having ourselves a little Zoe sit at Lincoln Center. Cause someone is very sleepy and does not want to walk. So we got here and that's as far as we're going. He's now reaching. Yeah, isn't that right? 
on a classic bike. Back to work again. Another evening in the glowing orange lights. Three classes, should be pretty smooth sailing. No intros, all the same template. We love, see you on the flip. <laughs> <laughs> we have Zoe. Yes, we get to have her for a play date for tonight, just for an hour. She has so much more energy than earlier, huh? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Hi. <laughs> oh, such a little cutie patootie. Well, work was chill. Nice, easy three classes as expected. And, um,. Walked home and we're just gonna make dinner from wow something I have so a successful no spend day so yeah we still got thirty six dollars in change to work with for tomorrow and Thursday only only time will tell will we spend it all will we end under budget Honestly, I've impressed myself. I did not think I was gonna make it this far and be where I'm at. So, we're doing good. What are you doing, Zoe? <laughs> well, I'm gonna play with Zoe and make some food. And we gotta get up bright and early in the morning because we open back at the studio. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We will be spending money tomorrow because we're getting dinner with Lena. But other than that, I don't know. We'll see. See ya. So as I was deciding what to have for dinner, I was looking through my pantry. Now that it's all organized, which you haven't seen yet in this, but you will in a couple weeks. I was like, what do I have? What can I make? And then I was like, oh my God, what is my go-to budget meal? Rice and beans. I haven't made it because it's like the rice takes 20 minutes to make, which I'm like usually impatient and don't want to wait the 20 minutes. But I was like, this will be set me up for success the next couple days because this is like honestly three to four meals. Ah! So I had to share because honestly, it can't be an Adriana budget video without rice and beans. Made it, put it in the container so we're good to go for the rest of the week. Mmm, delicious add a little fun to it. Sprinkle in some Mexican cheese. Then mix it up a little bit. Whoops, I just made a mess. You wanna eat some cheese off the floor, Zoe? That's what I miss about having a dog growing up. <laughs> we had a dog and it was great because they just clean the floor for you when you drop food. <laughs> Isn't that right, though? Now we're just gonna pop this in the microwave for like 15 seconds. Amazing. And now, just so it's not just like so sticky and dry, we add a little salsa. This is the perfect use to finish off this jar of salsa. Just a little dollop on the top. And there you have it. Rice, beans, with a little Mexican cheese and salsa for dinner. Now I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. Took myself a classic bike down. I already know. That's the first thing I'm gonna start spending money on again. Just taking more e-bikes everywhere once this challenge is over. <laughs> oh, I'm just too lazy. Especially once it starts to get cold outside. Mm. Hell no. Anyway, we've made it to Orange Theory. First three classes of the day complete. We've got some time before we coach the noon. So I brought yogurt with granola and peanut butter for breakfast. I almost thought I was gonna have to spend money for breakfast, but then I remembered I had yogurt, so we're good. I bet you can guess what I'm having for lunch. <laughs> Rice and beans with some Mexican cheese. I have more salsa, I just didn't feel like opening the container, so this is what we're having. And I was fully prepared to like spend some money for dinner, but Lena is done, she's 
in Manhattan, she's in grad school and she, her classes are done at like four or whatever. So we're meeting up at 4.30. So we're just gonna get like a coffee and a little treat. So I'm like, either I could like get myself food or we can just see if we can end the month under budget. Crazy, I know, who would have thought? So we'll see what I'm feeling later, but for now, this is lunch. This is the coffee date fit with Lena. I've been rocking the black linen pants so much lately because it's, it's been so weirdly warm. Like it is the end of October, but it is 75 degrees outside. That's insane. But uh, I'm just gonna throw on some sneakers and then put my fanny pack on so it's cute but comfortable. And I'm excited because we're gonna go to, we're just gonna go to Capital One Cafe because it works out perfectly because she has to transfer to the L train at Union Square, so it's kind of like on her way. So we're meeting there, and I'm probably just gonna like walk around a little bit, chat, catch up, which I'm very much looking forward to because I haven't had like a solo moment with Lena in a while, and she is one of my closest longest friendships that I've had we met freshman year of college which is um oh my god we've been friends for 10 years we have officially been friends for over 10 years it was fall of 2014 when I was a freshman in college and we became friends wow that's amazing so love her we haven't like had a minute to just like hang out and chat for a while so very much looking forward to that and then we're gonna come back and walk zoe pretty chill day i am so sad about my sunglasses still i really need to buy a new pair but i've been holding off if you're like what's going on if you haven't seen i think it was like two episodes ago of this budget series i was on a zoe walk i sat down somewhere took my sunglasses off and it wasn't like a sunny day, so I didn't even realize when I stood up that I didn't grab them. It was like a very like kind of overcast, windy day. And they either blew away or I left them there and someone took them. And I realized it like 10 minutes later and came back and they were gone. And I'm very sad about it. And I found this pair that kind of looks similar on Amazon, but I've been waiting to buy them because I didn't want to have it be part of this month's budget. Which is kind of silly, because like I'm going to have to buy them at some point. So this is what I've been rocking since then. I got these at Housing Works. I want to say for like 250 or something dumb like that. Housing Works is a thrift store. So yeah, anyway. But the exciting thing is that Capital One Cafe is doing this thing right now while the World Series is happening where you can get a like handcrafted beverage for free, one a day. So. I'll get my beverage for free and then I might just pay for Lena's because if you have a Capital One card and you go to a Capital One cafe, you get your drink like half off. So I might treat her since we're not getting dinner. So I'm spending less than I expected to. We'll see. Anyway, downtown we go. Working for it. Oh, I may have a bit of a, a light sweat when I get to Union Square. Definitely. Definitely getting my workout in for the day. We got a cinnamon roll. We got a ham and cheese on a croissant. We got a ween. <laughs> Cheers. And we both got iced chai lattes. Great. For free. Free for this. 4.30 on that. And that is all we spent for today. Yeah. Yummy. <laughs> we have a not even late night it's literally like 6 45 but we have an evening zoe walk and now that the sun sets so early it's a nighttime dark out zoe walk and i decided because lena and i didn't get no, dinner i literally spent 4 50 4 30 on a little cinnamon roll and then so water and food to get so I was like, okay, well, I was planning on spending money on dinner. So as I said earlier, I was like, maybe I'll treat myself. So I decided to order myself my favorite ramen, which of course it is very warm outside. So it's like not really ramen weather, but I was like, 
whatever, we'll do it. It'll be delicious. I'll have my ramen. We're going to pick it up and do a two for one. Walk the zoster and get dinner. So I don't have to pay for like delivery and tip and all that. Yay. My favorite place. We've secured, secured the goods. Oh, we made it home with our ramen. What a day. The fact that it's literally 7.30 and it feels like it's like 9.30, unacceptable. First ramen of the season and I'm so excited. If you're new here, the past couple years on Sundays in the winter time, I'll do what I call Sunday ramen, where I literally just order ramen on Sunday nights. And it is getting to that time of year where it's coming back. It's definitely like a little warm for it to be today, but... It just felt right. Oh, look at that. I had to take the pants off. I sat on a city bike, the ground, and a subway seat on with those pants, so... Could not go on the couch. Oh, the poor. Ooh. Beautiful. Chopsticks. Anyone else? Amazing. Obviously. Gotta get the gotta get the shot for the TikTok. Alright, I have moved to the floor. I think we're totaling like 20-ish, $21 today maybe. I paid $4.30 at the Capital One Cafe for my cinnamon roll, plus $2.90 for the Subway, plus how much was this? It was $15 plus tax, $23.53 for the day. So that is, we still have $13.42 left in the budget. And honestly, I have no plans for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Halloween. Zero plans. And I'm kind of okay with it. Honestly, I low-key want to go and see the new Beetlejuice movie. Because a couple weekends ago, I watched the first one. Like, the old one. And I kind of want to see the new one. And I'm like, I have AMC A-list, so it would be free. So maybe I'll go do that. Because it's going to be like an early morning... I'm gonna be tired. Let's see, AMC. And I feel like that would be a perfect movie to see on Halloween too, right? Watch it not be in theaters anymore. I feel like that'd be dumb for them to take it out before Halloween. They have a 1.30 p.m. showing. That's it <laughs> at the theater that I like to go to. Which honestly, technically, I could make it to because I'm gonna be coaching at 72nd and I'll be there until about 1.15. Do I just go from work and go watch an afternoon movie? No, it's gonna be so nice out. I wanna to spend the daylight outside. I'm actually shocked there's no like evening movie times over um, in like the East Village they have something. The East Village, Harlem and Jersey City. Crazy. Well, maybe I'll go and see another movie, or we'll see what we do. Anyway, I'm gonna eat and relax and probably go to bed early since I have to be up at 5 a.m. definitely not bright, but it's actually kind of warm. <laughs> it's like 65 degrees right now. Wow. And we are just about at Orange Theory. Woo. 
Love it when you dock and there's a cross sign. We're almost there, y'all. Four classes down, one more to go. Had a little break, had my breakfast. Feeling good. I'm honestly not even really tired, which is wonderful. I did get a good amount of sleep last night. I went to bed, I think it was like 11 when the lights were out. So solid six hours, not bad. Not bad at all. One more class and then we're chilling for the rest of the day. Five classes and we are done for the day. Been at work literally since 5.30 in the morning and it is now 1.15, but it is beautiful outside. I am so confused about these instructions. <laughs> I'm making lunch and I was like, oh, let me do this shiitake mushroom chicken thing that my sister gave me. I have to defrost it and then cook it on the stove top. Oh, this is the veggie pouch. And then this is the chicken. And then the sauce. So many parts. Place unopened sauce packet in a bowl with warm water to thaw. Okay, so we'll start with that. All right, sauce is thawing. Now I'm supposed to put these in the microwave for two to three minutes. Both of my camera batteries were dead, so you didn't get to see the making of, but this is the finished product. Let's do a taste test. Probably would be better with like some rice, but not bad. I'm like, am I crazy for thinking maybe the rice and beans could be good with this? I know the beans are kind of a weird thing with this, but let's try a mushroom. It was frozen, so I've never had a frozen then cooked mushroom before. Mmm. It's a bit chewy. Chicken's good. But yeah, the, uh, the mushroom's interesting. I really want to go to a Capital One Cafe again because I want a free coffee. And I really do want to edit, but I also am picking up Zoe in like two hours. So I feel like it doesn't make sense to go all the way to a Capital One Cafe. Because the closest one is, it would take me like door to door, like 15 minutes to get to. But I want a free beverage and I have work to do, but I feel like by the time I get there, I'll have like maybe an hour to get stuff. Well, yeah, I feel like I'd have like an hour to get stuff done. I mean, I can get a lot done in an hour. Maybe I will go anyway. It's only 3.11. I'm just like, it's free. Why wouldn't you go? I'm gonna try putting the rice in this. Can confirm, rice makes it better. The beans are kind of weird with it, but I wasn't gonna make a new thing of rice. I was so hungry. Bon appetit. Hmm. I've been scrolling and it's four o'clock now. And I was like, okay, do I go and just push back the Zoe walk? And then I was like, let me double check the the World Series is still happening because this free drinks are only during the World Series. And I just saw that yesterday the Dodgers won, so the World Series is over because they won four out of the seven games. So I'm so happy I didn't get there and then realized that I couldn't get a free beverage. Thank goodness for looking ahead. Anyway, I feel like I should, this sun is so harsh. It is literally 78 degrees outside. I feel like I should go outside. The sun is literally calling me. I feel like I should go outside, but I'm like, I have to pick up Zoe in an hour. I don't know what to do outside though. This is the dilemma. Zoe. Zoe does not want to walk today. But we're taking in the sights. Come on, Zoe. What you looking at, Zoe? Look at this sunset. Stunning. What did you say, Zoe? Feels like it's August outside. And we're just hanging out on the bench. I 
did bring a book, but I don't think I'm gonna read. We're just chilling. <laughs> oh my God, I almost let him get his face in the food. <laughs> we have Ollie and Yasmin. She brought me a new tray meal, how nice. Healthy. Healthy, Healthy. Healthy and affordable. Healthy we and love. Affordable. <laughs> Potato trip. All oh, the movie snacks. That one's looking sweet. Wait, what's this, peanut butter? This is peanut butter, look at this. Mega peanut butter M&M's. The other ones are by half? It's the other one buy half. one, get one half I kinda off. want the minis now. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. No. That is how much over budget I went. <laughs> I mean, that's so pretty damn good. Honestly, that is way better than I thought I was going to do. That's awesome. I got kombucha, mega peanut butter M&Ms, and the flavors of the world lifesaver gummies, which I'm very excited to try. And Yasmin got the poppycock. And potato chips. And potato chips. And a Gatorade. And a Gatorade. Wait, what are the... We see around the world. They don't even have the flavors on the back. Yeah, they have it on the front. Lemon star fruit, Asian pear, Fuji apple, mandarin orange, and raspberry dragon fruit. Interesting. Exotic. Well, we're gonna watch ourselves a little Halloween movie and have a girls night to close out this savings budgeting month. I'm so glad we could do this. <clears throat> I'm too. proud of you. Me too, honestly. 55 cents over budget is like nothing. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I even used coupons at CVS to make it cheaper than it would have been, so. Mm -hmm. It's a win. It has been one week since we finished the budget challenge. And I have to say, I am so proud of myself. Can we just give me a hand? I really did not think I was gonna do so well as I did. 55 cents over, really not bad. I figured we would kind of review the month, see where there were opportunities that I could have done better, where I think I did great. So if we look back, week one, I spent a lot. The biggest thing that hit was paying for dinner. And honestly, I'm not mad about it. There were no real expenses that first week that I'm like, I wish I hadn't have done. The one thing that I looked at like over the first two weeks was I wasn't thinking of my city bike credits. So I spent a good portion of the budget, probably like $15, that I could have saved by using more e-bike credit instead of paying for bike rides. But you live and you learn. The second portion of the month, I was doing a lot more of that. So my e-bike rides that I did take were free. So we love that. There were like some random things that I had to get notarized, which you will learn very soon why. And <laughs> stay tuned. I think that's gonna be uh, maybe three videos from now you will know so make sure your bell notifications are on um, 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 um what else that freaking facial oh my god so many regrets one just the facial itself was not good and then i'm just mad that i gave her a 20 dollars tip like i should have given her the like four dollars that i had because it was either a 20 or four singles or i wish i had thought about to ask if she had venmo because I would have been fine with like $10, but 20 was just way too much for what that was. Other than that, the only other thing that I really was like, man, I, I could have done better with was um, doing Stoflius during this challenge. It's a pricey meal to make. It was delicious, and I made sure that it made me multiple meals, but it was a pricey meal to make. But other than that, I feel like I crushed it. Making all of my coffees at home was key why do all of the cars with the terrible sounding noises have to be driving by right now anyway making coffee at home was key that was a huge way to save money i really did not order food out and i feel like that is 
the biggest expense and the biggest way to like save yourself money. I was actually literally just yesterday talking to Yasmin and we were talking about budgeting. Um, if you don't know who Yasmin is, she's one of my besties here in New York. But we were talking about budgeting and one of the major expenses is ordering food, especially through the delivery apps between the delivery fees, the tax, the tip, the sur like the surcharges. Something that could be $13 will be $23 plus if you order it through an app. So something that this challenge has definitely made me more aware of is one, just actually looking through my fridge and freezer and pantry and seeing how can I be creative and make some food. We're back. We had a little phone call. Um, using the food that I have, major, major bonus of this challenge is just like being an adult and telling yourself, no, you, you have food at home. Literally, that's what it was. Like the, no, remember when you were a kid and your mom wouldn't let you get something at the grocery store because she was like, no, we have food at home. Or you, she wouldn't let you get something out because it was like, no, you have food at home. That's what budgeting is. Being the adult and telling yourself you have food at home. <laughs> I'm gonna open the shade, get a little more light on the subject. Ah, there we go. Now that the sun isn't shining in so harshly natural light we love other than food another huge thing for saving money and like not spending this month was not drinking alcohol I really do think it's the reason that I was able to end this month where I did because drinks are expensive even if you're getting drinks and bringing it home that adds up and it's it's like being sober is definitely the cheapest way to live Am I staying sober? No. Like, I'm gonna, I've already gone back to drinking. Not that I've ever been someone who like drinks constantly or has an issue with it, but I'll definitely be more mindful of it. Maybe it's like, I won't get as many drinks out or there will be times that I go out and I decide I don't wanna drink. Cause it was honestly easy. The nights that like, when I went out to Brooklyn and see, saw my friends and I just had water, like it was a chill night anyway. So it didn't really, add or take anything away with not drinking. So definitely something that I'll like consider more and be more thoughtful of in when I'm drinking, which I think is a win. I've gone back to taking more e-bikes, but I have also been like, when it's a short ride, especially if it's downhill, I'm like, Adriana, come on. We can do a classic. So it's little things like that where it's an opportunity to not spend like a dollar or something. It adds up and will make a difference long term, short term. It's just like taking out the instant gratification, you know? All in all, I'm pretty proud of myself. I did slightly lie though. I ended a bit over budget than the 55 cents. You may be noticing a certain matching sweat set that I'm wearing. I did purchase it in October. The Instagram ads got me and this is comfort. I'm sure you all have seen their ads on Instagram. They're like supposed to be the most comfortable and like good for anxiety. Not that that's what I needed for. I just wanted a cozy sweatshirt, but they were having a flash sale and it was like 70% off and there was a welcome discount. So I spent about $67 I think on this. I'll double check for sure. I spent $67.95 on this. So technically I ended the month $68 over budget. I'm not mad about it. Honestly, I told myself like two weeks in, three weeks in, I was like, if I can just stay within the like $500, like not get up to 600, I'd be happy. So the fact that this is what put me over and it's something I know I'm gonna wear. I've literally worn it like two or three times already. It's comfy, it's cozy. And like, we're about to be in the colder time of the year. So, and it's like an early birthday present to myself because my birthday is coming up in a couple weeks. <laughs> this is where I kind of rationalized with myself. I was like, I'm doing this budget challenge, not out of necessity, but more just to like, one, see if I can do it. And two, just reset my finances, reset my like mindset with spending money. And I feel like it, it worked, you know, my, my finances are in much better place. Literally credit card balance is the lowest it's ever been in a month since probably the pandemic when I had zero expenses and was living at home. 
and I've already seen I'm keeping the thought process of like really being intentional with spending my money am I spending more money again yes but I'm just more intentional with how I'm spending it and making sure that one it's something I need two it's something that that I'll actually use and will have like a good um, cost wear ratio you know so I would say it's a win it was a challenge for sure I already see some of you asking for me to do it again I don't know when I'll do another month budget challenge uh, a week budget definitely could see that in the near future maybe like in the new year because like around the holidays come on come on but come the new year we could probably do a like one week budget challenge um, or if you guys want to see more like specific things like saving or not spending on this one one particular activity or type of thing um, that could be fun so comment down below if there's more like specific budget challenges you'd want to see from me but with that, I appreciate you all so much. I'm really glad you guys have been enjoying this series. If you came in in the middle, go back and watch it through. It's been fun and I am happy to spend. <laughs> I respect the people so much more who do live on a budget this tight consistently because it's, t it's tough. The fun things were far and few between. I think I really uh, appreciated the slow life a little bit more this month, which is good. I mean, especially living in New York, it's so fast paced. It's so easy to get wrapped up in the brunches and dinners and going out for drinks and like the excursions that you can drop easily a hundred dollars on. So it's nice to remember that like it's okay to chill and prioritize you and your finances. So if nothing else, I hope you guys are maybe motivated to be more intentional with your spending or motivated to try to budget yourself a little bit more. And you saw it. I didn't have like a, I have this much money to spend on this, this much money to spend on this. Would that have maybe made it a little bit easier to structure it that way? Possibly. I think I would do that if I did another month budget challenge like this in the future. But it doesn't have to be like a super set in stone structured thing like have a number in mind that you want to stay within and see what you can do appreciate you all as always thanks for watching and cheers to budgeting see you in the next one bye <laughs>